What's up, people? What's up? What's up? Oh, it's a good one. Me too. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I just gotta say this, man, because it's getting on my nerves. I'm always hearing about Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods. Now, y'all know I came up with the saying, go Chris Bryan yourself. For the ones who do like watching my videos. And I now I came up with a new one for all the married men who, uh, or for people who about to get married. I was like, go tackle wood yourself. But this is what's going down. This motherfucker, hey, this tackle wood. I like tackle woods. I got support for him. Now this dude had 19 mistresses. He's married with a fine woman. Now how you gonna mess that up, man? You got a fine wife, two beautiful kids. But why throw it away? And that's one thing. Why throw it away? This is what this is how I do. This this is what I think. If you got coochie at home, why go out looking for it? I know people some people say, Well, I'm tired of the same old, same old. I'm tired of the same old flavor. What's the difference? Coochie is still gonna be the same no matter where you go. Why leave the house and go get you some when you got some at the house? Just don't it just don't make no sense. It's like you got a head full of hair. Why go out and buy more hair for your head? See what I'm saying? It's like it's like why I do this? Why I mess it up? But one thing is about this is that this porn star this porn star still in love with them. I still love Tiger. I still want to be with him. Like, dude. Look, he's married. He broke everything off with all 19. And you still love him. Why? I don't know. I love him. Look. You got the Albright woman. Why do you want to get Albright? Albright is a celebrity lawyer. Same as Johnny Cochran. But he's dead and gone. Johnny Cochran's dead and gone. But you get... <laughs> Albright to represent you saying we're gonna sue Tiger Woods. Hold up. You had three, two pregnancies. One's a miscarriage and one you uh, had abortion. Now hold on. You can't put that on Tiger. You can't. You had your. You had a choice to get rid of that baby. Not Tiger. Tiger never told you to go get rid of that baby, did he? Nope. And I agree with Joy, Joy Behar from The View said. She said that's one less porn star off the screen I agree with all that one but one thing is Tiger man bro man I got mad respect for you but this you gotta think about this man 19 women and you got a woman at home that's fine as one fine as wine fine as wine taste, probably tastes good but and but, but why why would you go out man you got you got an old lady at home and two kids why throw, throw that all away and you got making good money you had all the games put out got your own golf club got Nike representing you you got been on the weenies box if your daddy would have been living today he would have been he would have smacked the shit out of you man that's all I gotta say but dude I give you respect for all them people it's like I'm gonna say one more thing about this I don't need to know I'm saying this right there I'm saying this right here I don't need to know what the hell a celebrity is doing behind closed doors. What they do is they business, it's not mine. Second thing is, I think the media is blowing this shit out of proportion. TMZ, Inside Edition, Access Hollywood, Entertainment Tonight, they blowing this stuff out of water. I don't need to know where he at. If he going shopping, let him go shopping. If he going to get something to eat, let him go get something to eat. If he's having sex with his old lady, let him do it. That's they business, not mine. I want to know. One thing is, I want to know what happened to politicians. If the politician's stealing from me, yeah. If he's fucking, fucking me over, yeah, I need to know that. But I don't need to know what the hell they doing behind closed doors. That is not my business. I'm telling that right now. If you got an issue with that, take it up with them. Not with me. I don't need to know what the celebrity's doing behind closed doors. It's their business. If Alec Bauman want to cuss out his daughter, let him do it. That's his business, not mine. Same if... The, David Hoff, or whatever that Hoffman, whatever his name is, uh, David Hasselhoff. If he got an issue, let him handle it. Not me. I don't even know his business. He don't need no mind. So that's how it is. So quit putting these celebrities out there 
on blast because it ain't mine or yours or anybody else business on this on, in this world this is why the world is so jacked up now because y'all out y'all this media sitting up here all this media sitting up here messing people up that's how I see it it's my business if I do something behind closed doors it's their business if they do something behind closed doors not mine I hope you, I hope a celebrity do uh, look if you guys uh, look if you like this video leave a comment leave a video response or something if you're on my space and you see this leave us a comment and tell your friends about what the hell I think I'm a grown ass man so they grown ass people when, teen, when kids get involved and they in the spotlight set their asses straight stop don't let them be like don't let them be like Jamie Lee Spears Britney Spears Hannah Montana <coughs> uh, who else uh that Vanessa Hutchinson don't let your kids they get in the spotlight don't let them be like them cause you stupid if you do but back to Tiger Tiger man I got mad respect for you but you screwed yourself out of this your wife gonna leave you man if I was you man I would never start none of this stuff I would've been like look I can't wait to get home if I was in Tiger's shoes and I was famous I would've been like man I can't wait go home to see my old lady I'm gonna give me some booty I'm going out but that's how it is if you like what to say please holler at me don't be an ass but holler at me holler at me